Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Friday, March 11, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Minnesota Timberwolves vs Orlando Magic The Minnesota Timberwolves and Orlando Magic meet Friday in NBA action at the Amway Center. The Minnesota Timberwolves look to build on their six-game winning streak. The Orlando Magic look for a win after splitting their last eight games. Our first pick is. Minnesota Timberwolves minus eight. And here is why. The Minnesota Timberwolves are playing some basketball right now. The T-Wolves have won six straight and have vaulted into seventh place in the Western Conference with a record of 38-29. They are just 2.5 games behind Dallas and Denver for the sixth and final guaranteed playoff spot. They are 3.5 games ahead of the 8th place Clippers. The Timberwolves A-R-E-N-T just winning, they are blowing people out. The last two games they won by a combined 74 points. The Orlando Magic have won two of their last four games and four of their last seven which, for the lowly Magic, is a true hot streak. When you have won a grand total of 17 games all season and you get almost one quarter of them in the span of two weeks, THATS kind of a big deal. The Magic is coming off an impressive 108-102 road win at New Orleans on Wednesday as 8.5-point underdogs. The Pelicans have been playing well coming in, so this is a quality win, on the road no less. The Minnesota Timberwolves are one of the hottest teams in the entire NBA. They have won six consecutive games, and five of these victories were by double digits. They have also been stellar on the road where they have won three consecutive games. Furthermore, the Timberwolves continue to dazzle in the offensive end. They have scored at least 124 points in all six games in the winning streak. Orlando won't be able to keep up and are one of the lowest scoring teams in the league. They have netted 108 or fewer points in four straight games. Our second pick is. Over 232.5 points. And here is why. The Minnesota Timberwolves are averaging 114.7 points on 45.3% shooting and allowing 111.6 points on 45.3% shooting. Carl Anthony Towns is averaging 24.5 points and 3.8 assists, while Anthony Edwards is averaging 21.3 points and 3.6 assists. D'Angelo Russell is the third double-digit scorer, and Malik Beasley is grabbing 2.9 rebounds. The Minnesota Timberwolves are shooting 35.2% from beyond the arc and 76.7% from the free-throw line. The Minnesota Timberwolves are allowing 34.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.7 rebounds per game. Charlotte Hornets vs New Orleans Pelicans. The Charlotte Hornets travel to the Smoothie King Center to take on the New Orleans Pelicans on Friday night. Our first pick is. New Orleans Pelicans minus 3.5 points. And here is why. Charlotte could not contain Jason Tatum in a 115-101 home loss to the Celtics. Miles Bridges and PJ Washington each had 17 points to lead the Hornets, who fell to 1-12 on the second night of back-to-back -back games. The Hornets mostly played zone against the Celtics in an effort to contain Tatum, but it didn't work. The New Orleans Pelicans rolled to four straight easy victories in their return from the All-Star break. Then they let a game slip through their fingers in Denver on Sunday before being dominated in a 132-111 loss at Memphis on Tuesday. They have lost three straight games after losing 108-102 to the Magic. This game got a lot murkier with the announcements late Thursday afternoon regarding the statuses of McCollum and Ingram. With that said, Charlotte has struggled to stop anyone on the defensive end of the floor, and that is going to be a major issue again. The Hornets have made mediocre offenses look elite on a regular basis thanks to their horrific efforts on the defensive end of the floor. Granted, New Orleans is going to be without their top two scoring weapons, but you have to think Valanciunas can have a field day inside against Charlotte. The Pelicans get the victory here as they take advantage of the charm and soft Hornets defense. And our second pick is, over the total. And here is why. The New Orleans Pelicans have been in a bit of a rut as they will be hoping to put an end to a three-game skid after coming up short against the Magic in a 108-102 loss on Wednesday. 
CJ McCollum led the team with 32 points and 8 assists on 14 of 27 shooting, Jonas Valanciunas added 30 points with 15 rebounds, while Herbert Jones chipped in with 15 points. As a team, the Pelicans shot 44% from the field and 7 of 31 from the three-point line, but they were always fighting an uphill battle in this one, after scoring just 17 points in the first quarter to fall behind by double digits early. McCollum was on fire for the Pelicans, but he needed more support from the bench who combined for just 15 points. Toronto Raptors vs Phoenix Suns the Phoenix Suns play host to the Toronto Raptors at the Footprint Center on Friday night. Our first pick is. The Suns at minus 5.5 points, and here is why. DeAndre Ayton and Landry Shamit scored 21 points each to help the Phoenix Suns outlast the Orlando Magic 102-99 on Tuesday night. Ayton had 19 rebounds and scored the Suns' final two baskets, including a putback with 131 left after Orlando had taken a 98-97 lead. Fred Van Vliet had 26 points, and the Raptors managed to secure a big 119-104 win over the San Antonio Spurs on Wednesday. Van Vliet was 7 for 15 from the field in his return from a five-game absence because of knee soreness. Scotty Barnes and Pascal Siakam added 20 points to help Toronto snap a three-game skid. Perhaps the Suns are not scoring as many points as they did when Chris Paul was healthy and dished a ton of assists, but it seems that their defense is stronger than ever. Now, with Devin Booker back from quarantine, the Suns don't lack firepower on offense, and I think the hosts will be too much for the Raptors to handle on Friday. Toronto has a couple of tough nights ahead as they will face Red Hot Denver on Saturday, so it could be a pair of losses for Nick Nurse's team. I am taking Phoenix's rock-solid defense in this one, and I am backing it to prevail. And our second pick is under the total, and here is why. The Phoenix Suns have been in fine form as they've won four of their last five games, and they will be aiming for a third straight victory after routing the Heat in a 111-90 road win on Wednesday. Devin Booker led the team with 23 points, 8 rebounds and 9 assists, Michael Bridges added 21 points with 9 rebounds and 3 assists, while DeAndre Ayton chipped in with 19 points and 10 rebounds. As a team, the Suns shot 45% from the field and 11 of 37 from the three-point line as they went back and forth in a tightly contested first half before going on a pivotal 27-12 run in the third quarter to pull away and escape with the statement win. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.